Hey guys, Billy Davidson here with Davidson Pressure Wash. We're going to talk about ball valves. My favorite ball valve, one right here, DN10. I'm going to put some links down in the description for this ball valve and the connections that you need to make this work. The reason why I like this particular ball valve because it doesn't have that lever on it or that handle. It gets kind of hung up on your jackets, your pockets, that sort of thing. So this is just a, uh, a knob that you can turn on and off. So we're going to... Um, Teflon this up, tighten it up. We're going to use it. We're going to show you how to use it here in a minute. So make sure you stay all the way into the to the video. Um, also, if you're looking to grow your pressure washing business, go check out BillyDavisonVIP.com. We are uh, actually working on this big building right here, doing a bunch of pressure washing. Dumpster pad right here. Look at this one. These ball valves work really good in these dumpster pads. We're going to show you some of that. Go visit BillyDavisonVIP.com. You can learn how to get these dumpster pads, which can get you a bunch of other pressure washing on the job site. So, all right, Apex, talk to me. What are we going to do here? All right, so we're going to wrap these quick connect threaded ends in Teflon, and you have to make sure you do it the right way. So, obviously, righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. We're going to be turning it this way. So, we're going to put the Teflon like this so that as we're turning it, it doesn't um, fight against the um, against the uh, groove there. So that's going to keep the uh, Teflon on as we tighten it up. And guys, really, Teflon is not really a sealant per se. Uh, the reason why we want to use Teflon is just to kind of lubricate those threads so we can get a good uh, thread going in and not cross thread it, that sort of thing. So. In a pinch, uh, I made another video on this a few months ago. In a pinch, you could use a piece of plastic Walmart bag. Um, I got some pieces that's been together for years like that. I, you know, I'm not saying go do it, but if you didn't have any Teflon with you and you need to put these things together. So uh, anyway, we got it Teflon up and we're gonna go ahead and tighten it up. Basically wanna hand tighten it, just kind of make sure it's going on clean. No cross threading. So here he's just using an open end wrench. I prefer a crescent wrench or something like that. This is just one of those uh, quickie things right now. As long as it doesn't slip on as you uh, tighten it up. And what I always like to do is you just get it about as tight as you can. That's probably good enough. That's brass fitting, so uh, you don't want to put a long lever on it and try to over tighten it because you probably could just bust your uh, your fittings up just a good strong hand tighten so here goes our second fitting also guys again the link's going to be down in the description to these parts this will work on just about any pressure washer out there with a 3 8 inch hose up to i think these ball valves are rated up to 5,000 psi don't quote me on that you have to check the specs on it but we're nowhere near running 5,000 PSI. And guys, you want to keep the Teflon tape flat as it's going across the threads. It helps it seat in the threads better. And don't use too much. Go around it three times. That's, that's good enough. Yep, just enough on it. That should be plenty tight right there. Now, another, another thing where we don't want to do is put our tools back in the toolbox because we've left our tools on the trailer and our Teflon and everything else and um, run off in a hurry. So we'll put that back in the toolbox, make everything secure, and we're going to go test this out. If you're liking it so far, please give us a like. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. Hit that subscribe button, and uh, we're going to be cleaning this dumpster pad here in a second. Looking forward to that.